This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Guardian's Crusade. I want to go back to the mayor's house quickly, or the governor's house, because I actually think I can open that treasure chest. I think I need to just try another time or two, maybe. I think I might be able to get it this time. Yes, I did it. Okay, there we go. You get a living toy baron. Get another living toy. On the top of the list. Turns 10% of your damage to rubies. Well, I guess he's like a money maker. So far we've seen some pretty expensive stuff. I don't really recall money being biggest issue in this game, but we'll see. I'm just going to go down here first and go into this one next. Robust verdant leaves reveal that this is a very healthy plant. Okay, well, that's different. For those building blocks. I remember when you used to play with building blocks, too. I've never heard of anything growing out of a building block. But there was a mine berry growing out of it. Doesn't look like anybody's home here, though. Maybe let's just look across the alley here and go into this one while I'm here. Didn't look like anything down there. Eh, nothing up here either. Unless there was something in one of the shells, but I really don't want to spend all my time checking everything in all the buildings in these places. Because there is enough that it would really take forever. I don't know if this is part of the shop or not. A lot of water. There's a basement here, though. the hall. Who would only exist because there is evil. Today is the day I launch my quest for global domination. That's a pretty twisted thing to say. Evil thrives by hurting innocent people. Evil must be destroyed. Okay. Interesting guy. Maybe he turns out to actually be the Real bad guy in the game, right? <laughs> be kind of funny if they set something up like that, like you just randomly come across some guy in a basement. That's actually the main bad guy in the game. I'm trying to save the shop still for last. That. Isn't it dangerous to just leave this around like this? The spear? It looks like. Oh, yeah, so there's weapons here. Surprise somebody, somebody doesn't come along and steal these. We would try, but Nahani probably wouldn't let us. This guy's just sleeping. Standing up here. All you nice care about is who has the shiniest helmet. I'm surprised someone doesn't come along and steal these. Chrysanthemum juice with dewdrop extract. Night, it's not yours. You can't take it with you. Okay. Interesting.
a different entrance here though, so it must be Yeah. A little house here. There's a bug crawling on it. Okay, got another bug. I wouldn't suppose it says anything different about this bug, does it? Actually, though. For now, I don't know what I want to do with the bugs, but I don't think they're really worth that much, but let's hang on to them and just let baby carry them for now. And if I get quite a collection by the end of the game, I might look it up and see what they do. Because I don't recall offhand. I'm sure I've done it on one of my more thorough playthroughs before. A fake plant. Okay. How do you like my cactus? Found it in the desert near Koldo. Where's Koldo? Is that the desert that we were in? you know that too much water will kill a cactus? Seems reasonable. Whether That's why they've developed the ability to live in arid climates, right? Because they don't need much water to survive. You can go in the cafe, I think. It's not like it's a shop, so shouldn't have anything for sale. I don't think. Did you hear? The governor is looking for another gem. What is it this time? Once the emerald, which is protected by the beast of Koldo. Count me out. That's a mighty tough monster. Yeah, but whoever brings it back, it's anything they desire. Anything I desire? Ah, uh, never mind. I'll never be able to get it. Koldo's a long way away. Way past the desert. Okay, so I guess we will have to be going to the desert next, it sounds like. Piano here. What interesting music you play, Knight. Hurting my ears. Knight, they're throwing stuff at us. <laughs> Knight, let's go before they start throwing chairs at us. Too bad they don't actually change the music and let you listen to what he's playing. But yes, we got an apple because they threw it at us. It restores your psychic points a little bit. I don't think we've had any items that actually do heal that yet. So, that's good. I make the best root beer floats on the continent. Do we have one? Apparently not. Huh? Just an upstairs lounge area? And is this where the owner lives, or...? What do you need a bed in the cafe, otherwise? Hmm. Maybe it acts kind of like a... Somewhat of an inn, too. For travelers, or for... Somebody that gets too drunk, staying at the cafe, maybe? Cafe slash bar. Um, this is like the church, I think, because they have those symbols on the doors. Or on the building. But we can actually go into this one. Artema has been good to me. I think there might be some stuff in this place. This one is for kids. It explains everything with pictures. There's a lot of religious scriptures here. Well, that makes sense. Here is their worship area, it looks like. Only Artema can save you. If you join now, we'll give you the first book of Artema free. No thanks. Searching the barrel? It's empty. You haven't seen a toy around here, have you? Thought I got rid of it. 
But if the children found it and have been playing with it when they should have been studying, if you find it, you can keep it. Guess this staircase isn't in use anymore. Yeah. A lot of religious scriptures. I think the toy's in one of these shelves. Ah, the holy hymn. Too bad these songs aren't more uplifting. Art of the Rules of Reincarnation. So they believe in reincarnation. Okay. The building of the sacred temple of Artema. Searching the bookshelf. Look, something is jammed in that open space down there. You get a living toy, heal bad. This one is for kids. Okay, yeah, explains everything with pictures. See, where did that come from? I think this just goes back outside, I think. Yeah, because you did have the two enters, entries here. I didn't go upstairs in the other part, though, so let's go back in there. Oh, yeah, I got but it just went back in the other door. Would have saved a little bit of time. Oh well. Artema saved me. He can save you too if you join us. Artema has blessed me with the power to see the future. I see you traveling the world with your friends fighting evil. Please accept this gift. May it help you in your quest. Got a living toy vampire. May Artema grant you strength in your struggle against evil. Well, that doesn't sound all so bad. Let's see, so we got heal bat, sucks blood from an enemy and heals night. So just like that move that the snapdragons were doing against us, I guess. It's a drain thing, but it only heals the night, so there is that. And vampire sounds like the same type of thing. Uses 10% of Knight's HP to attack. Ah, one of those things. I don't really like that kind of thing usually because I don't like weakening myself. Just to do an attack. Oh, yeah. We want to leave here now. Oh, we did get a couple more living toys here. Let's see, I think that's almost all the treasure in this town if I remember right but I will keep going and check out the other places okay we got the armor shop there I don't think I've been in this one be dark to see in there it's interesting Mate, you can't go around looking in people's cabinets. Yeah, from what I'm get a gathering here so far, and from what I remember, yeah, we're going to need to go to that Coldo place or whatever to try to get the, the gem that the governor wants, because otherwise we can't afford a ticket at all. Where did he win in that one? go in here can't believe we got all these wedding presents well yeah when you get married you usually get some presents as long as you invite people that is great you can only get beds like this in Triskin what do you mean married people only need one bed Wait till you get married, then you'll understand. <laughs> yeah, I guess um, naive young knight was asking him, why do you need one bed? Don't two people need two beds? I don't know how old our hero is supposed to be in this game. I would assume he's got to be at least like, be going on a journey like this and fighting enemies. I would think he needs to be at least like 13 or 14, but who knows? And I would think that's old enough to kind of understand the way it works with the birds and the bees and all that. 
we back at the beginning? Oh, yeah. So I just have three shops to check out, I think, is all that's left. I don't know if I can afford butter upgrades at this point anyway, since I spent so much on the Iron Helmet in that last play, or at um, Iskin. Iskin? What was it again? Yeah, Iskin, I think. Hi, I'm a rare weapon collector. Weapons are not toys that you collect and put on a shelf. Oh, for some people they are. What a glitzy sword. I've seen disco balls that twinkle less. Nahani is not amused. Rare item, not for sale. What's so special about it? I guess looks count for everything in this town. I'm the owner of this establishment. Can I help you? Okay. So, the steel sword is worse than the buccaneer sword I have, but they do also have a pirate sword, which is, I guess, on equal footing with what I got. But we then have a sage sword and a viking sword. Laminated, brigand, studded, and viking. At least they don't have a helmet upgrade, so I don't need to worry about buying that. But biking is going to be the best for everything here, it looks like. But we have some more rings available, too. But they're, once again, about 10,000 rubies. So I have three pieces of viking equipment I need to buy. I have about enough money, but let me hold off and check the other places. Also, I thought there was a separate shop that was like an armor shop, and this one was the weapon shop. But this one has everything available. So what's the other one have? I guess that's what I'm going to find out next. That's the item shop. Yeah, because this one has like an armor armor symbol on it. I don't think we're going to get anything different for dialogue here, probably. Good afternoon. You've come to the best armorer in the city. Can I help you? Okay. Yeah, he's got even better stuff. Wow. So, Mystical Sword, Smash Sword, Raid Sword, Elven Sword. So, Elven is going to be the best stuff we have available here. Eel Skin, Rock Plate, Neptune's Armor, and Elven Armor. I really don't know why you would buy the lesser valued stuff. I mean, yeah, that's a five point upgrade still from where we're at, but why not just save up a little more money to get that? And yeah, a couple more new rings. Poison vulner and vulnerability would be kind of nice. And there is... Okay, well, there is a new helmet here, but it's the Viking one. But that's only a one-point upgrade for defense, so that'll be probably the last thing I buy. Uh, we've got a seven-point upgrade for the shield. Eight-point upgrade for the armor. We'll go with the armor, I think, here. And yes, also, I guess I hadn't paid too much attention so far or pointed it out, but they do have elements, some of these things do. So that could be another reason for trying to pick which one you want to buy. The elven armor is light elemental. The Iron Helmet has none. Power Shield is Wind. And the Buccaneer Sword is Earth. So, that could be an argument against having a full set of, like, all Elven armor. Because, well, if it's all light, which I would assume they probably are, then you don't have any protection against other things. And, like, what if it's the opposite? I would assume Darkness. 
if the enemy uses that, well then we're going to be even more vulnerable to it. Where was the regular item shop? There it is. Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? Same. I think this newsweed might be new, but it just puts enemies to sleep. Otherwise, I think we've seen all that stuff before. Got a lot of potted plants on his shelf there. But I don't remember there being anything in here. Guess I could just check these quickly. Little herb garden. I mean, really little. A lot of water. Wonder why they are hanging these vegetables here. Okay. Let's go talk to the sailor on the dock, and then I'm assuming he's not going to let us go any further. And then we'll go to the ticket shop and talk to them. Somewhere over this way. The ship hasn't come in yet. Do you have tickets, lad? There aren't many spots left. You better hurry and get tickets. Wonder if we'll run into Bonica again. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, of course. There he is. Hey, Knight. Thanks for helping me out at Iskin. Iskin. Okay. You know what? I sold my jewels to the governor for enough money to start up my own store in Jungo. What's Jungo? I guess that's where he's going. Bo 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 bonique. Rock and roll just soothes my soul. Oh. Bo 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 bonique. I may look small. No, I'm not tall. Bo 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 bonique. Got his own theme song for himself. I'm sorry, but that customer just bought the last ticket. I'm sorry, but there are no more tickets available. Man, eh, dang it. Let's go beat the crap out of Bonique and take his ticket. No more tickets left, eh? Maybe someone will sell you theirs. What an odd beast you have there. Yeah, okay, I think I talked to him before. I'm trying to remember... Well, just thinking about what places should be a good option to try to find somebody that might sell their ticket. I think the cafe, or the inn, or the governor would be my best bets. I'm gonna start with the cafe. Still the same people here. I would think, from what I remember, it's gonna be some new people, or maybe somebody we've seen before that we can talk to somewhere around here. Just to see if they're still saying the same thing. Yeah. Since we found out more about what's going on now, maybe the governor will tell us about the gem that he's looking for. Tickets? I'll give you anything you want for the Beast Emerald. Okay. So I guess that's all the prompt we need to head out to the desert and look for the look for the gem or jewel or whatever it is. 
jam of coal though that he wants. We still. Yeah, we're not. Not full on HP, so let's go ahead and stay at the end. 30. Oh, we got to actually got to pay here. And we're going to head back to the desert. Probably try to do a little more leveling up there too now. Before we head into the Coldo ruins. I think it's ruins. Talking about a beast being there. But I don't think that would be in just a regular place. Let's go ahead. Feed the old armored baby. Yeah, I shouldn't have any problem getting back to the desert because these guys, the enemies will leave me alone. I accidentally run into them. Now the question is, where in the desert do I need to go? It's either the south end or the north end, I think, which, well, yeah, that's two sides, but I think it's to the south. Maybe the south west corner, kind of. As you can see on the map, there's some different type of stuff over there. It looks like nothing that's, like, yellow to indicate, like, a town or anything like that, but that's where I'm going to head in general while trying to fight a few of these guys on the way. And at least these guys are worth quite a bit of money too, so don't get me a little bit closer to working on getting more of that elven equipment. Okay. Got a new enemy here, and yeah, baby just transforms on his own. Love, huh? Looks like he put the giant flea to sleep. So I'll leave that thing alone for now. We'll target the sand ghost. I'm gonna transform again. Well, he took care of that. I think I'll try to power through without healing baby and just take this thing out. Didn't work. Don't punch the baby. Okay, good. See how much that's worth. 60 experience and 150 rupees. Nice. Only take about 10 fights like that to be able to afford a new piece of equipment. Where am I at now? 600, so we're about halfway to getting an elven piece of equipment. Okay. These guys again. I feel like a hit here might finish off the Sam Flea because Baby took it out with two attacks last time. Yeah. The Ghost might be the more difficult enemy overall, but yeah, if I can get rid of one without even letting it attack, I think I'd rather do that. Up to 13.
I'm just going to kind of follow the edge of the desert here. Where are the enemies? There's one. Okay, we got a new enemy here again. Ooh. Transforms into a sword. A Tau Tau? I think. Ah, dang it. Hoping that'd be good enough. Don't hit the baby. Okay. Okay. Now let's see how much this guy has. That was a hard hit, but it wasn't enough to finish him off. There we go. Hundred and seventy one rupees. Yeah, I hate using up all my hamburgers, but I guess why not? That's what they're here for. I think we'll go ahead and call it there, though, for today. We'll pick up here next time and try to find where we need to go in the desert. I think we might actually have to go through, like, a tunnel area or something to get to where I need to go, if I remember right. So I guess I can just show that quickly here. I think Holdo is actually the... Yeah, you can kind of see there's a darker part there to the part to the left of where I'm at. To the west there. And that's a tunnel that goes through to that southern dark spot there. And Koldo, I think, is actually the yellow area straight south of where I'm at. Probably the big one. Or it's the small one, maybe. I don't remember. Either way, we'll get there. Anyway, I'm going to go to the menu so I don't accidentally have some enemies approaching me here as I find out. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.